Hello, welcome back to Homemade Collectibles channel. This is part two of the review of the Homemade Transformers movie masterpiece, or sorry, miniature masterpiece, Autobot Ratchet from the 2007 film. We're gonna take a look at the robot mode and all the features we can do. So if you haven't watched our previous video, please do that. It is the transformation step of how to convert um, this item to uh, vehicle to robot. Um, the instructions are pretty um, well placed on a video. And this is a look at the robot mode. Now before I show everything off and tell you everything, there's two things I actually forgot to mention um, from the other video. It's the transformation of the arms I actually did not do correctly. Um, for the transformation before, I'll show you. Um, the transformation step I mentioned was you're supposed to fold this and then um, take that and peg it in here. That way the arms are like this, right? They're like this. They're actually not supposed to be like that. Um, these are the sides of the ambulance, the door, windows. So originally this is what the robot mode looks like. There's a big door sticking out. It's actually supposed to be very simple, uh, very straightforward. Um, you're actually um, supposed to just leave it out. So this is how it is. You're actually just supposed to fold it behind the arm and then use this peg to simply connect it here. Um, let me sh do that real quick, like that. So that is actually how the arm is supposed to be, where you can actually see all the robot detail. So that actually makes the robot look way better than having those doors stick out. And I already did that on the other side. The other thing I've got to mention was that the legs were kind of folded like this. That's due to it being on the vehicle mode. You can actually simply just fold it forward, just press against that, don't worry. Um, and that makes it better. And these pegs stick out like that. You just tuck in the peg like this and you just tuck those away like that. And so you get a clean looking Autobot Ratchet uh, robot mode. You can see he's super, super, super film accurate. And it's pretty amazing how it converts from that Hummer to this robot mode. Um, you can see everything is compact. Not a lot of kibble except for this. This is the top of the ambulance, um, but you can see even in the back, even in the back, there's a lot of robot detail and everything kind of lines up. And what's really cool, I mean, this is a really complex figure. Like I said before, treat this like a third party expensive um, item. It's not made for kids, but you can transform it, pose it and everything. Pose it, you said yes, you can actually articulate the figure, uh, the origami. He has a joint right at the arms. You can swivel up and down. And then there's also a joint right there. I'm sorry, I can't even see that. So you can swivel the arms like that. So he's got two joints on the arms. You can make him go up like that. Same thing on the other side. Um, the joint, oops. Okay, this piece keeps coming off. That's gonna be annoying. Let me see if I can tuck that in real quick. If not, um, it, it, you know, it's a Transformer figure. Transformer figures, even themselves, have this kind of issue, but, you know, this is an origami third party. Give it some credit. And so there's a joint here and a joint here. Um, I would, um, careful moving this joint if you're posing it uh, just because it has this uh, kibble robot kibble right there but it gives the authenticity of being a you know a Michael Bay um, live action robot where there's so many pieces you know it really brings in that element from his robot designs no articulation on the head no articulation on the torso but he does have two points of articulation on the legs um, these legs can swivel like that and then you there's a little bit of a joint here but uh, not really because um, of how these are stationary and that's because of the transformation but 
you can see here it's actually way better so you can see he's got a joint there and a joint there so um, you can pose that but because of the transformation this knee joint those are limited but you can move um, the legs pretty well it's, uh, why is this one not doing it oh because of this hinder right there but yeah um, so he does come with some accessories uh, this piece keeps coming off that's kind of annoying and like I said if the legs just fold back a little bit just press it in forward um, so he does have accessories um, comes with the blaster which does have a um, staple joint there so you can peg in the blaster you got Audible ratchet with his blaster right there does come with the missile which um, attaches right there right on the arm joint today like that let's see he's got the missile on the arm um, he does come with the chainsaw which was part of the uh, top of the ambulance which you can attach that there with the peg is iconic cool chainsaw right there which he used to uh, slice up demolish or uh, brawls arm you can see you can have a chainsaw and the chainsaw is posable too, so that's pretty cool. And um, he comes with, well, this is basically just an, a background accessory. Um, it's just there to display. Um, it's mainly because there wasn't really a good usage for that um, during the transformation. So to best design it, it's better if we uh, had it separate. So. You can kind of have it like that. Zoom in on that. Just a little display piece. No, it's not much, but you know. It's an origami paper transform figure that converts. That's authentic. And probably my favorite is this little piece here, which you can recreate the scene where in Transformers Age of Extinction, Ratchet loses his leg and um, you can come have that. Now to do that, you kind of have to uh, transform this one of the legs. I'll do this one. You're going to, to remove this peg here. And then you're going to fold it back. And you can see why the legs go back is because of this. But that's because it's um, a really complex engineering, really cool. You're going to fold it back and take this peg, lift it up. And you're going to attach it to this uh, piece right there, right? Now, it's not like the other pegs, so it's actually a clever engineering point. So you can see he has no legs, you know. That's where you attach this piece in. That's where you attach it right there on that peg, which was used to connect this and you peg it in like so, and look at that. Ratchet is bleeding all that blue oral spark blood while the uh, cemetery wind people from the Transformers, uh, uh, the, you know, the CIA or whatever they were, hunt down all the Transformers. And, so that's a really cool accessory and it's just amazing that you can actually do that with such a small complex figure like this and it works out pretty well you know you can have ratchet leap recreate that scene and you can see in the back it looks like you know it it, it, it fits him pretty well i mean it looks like a jumbled mess a little bit to be honest but you know if you face it to the front it looks pretty good so you can take that off and then if you don't want him to lose a leg, you simply unpeg that and then rotate the straight. And then simply with that same uh, piece here, use the peg 
to connect this here. Um, and sometimes they do, uh, you do have to push it in a little bit, but that's because, you know, you want the thing to be secure. You don't want all pieces flying off and everything, you know. And then the, look at that. He's back to regular old ratchet. And then, of course, you fold the thing down and then you just hide this piece right there. Oh, come on, camera. Don't be a jackass. Sorry. So, that is the look at the robot mode for Autobot Ratchet homemade miniature masterpiece figure. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. It is available if you are interested. Um, instructions will be sent out videos before purchase. Please check out my other stuff, my latest and better items I have. The Pacific Rim, Nudivore, the um, Movie Monster, Male Muto 10th Anniversary Godzilla 2014 figure for affordable price, less than 20 bucks with shipping of course, but you know, it's really affordable. There are video reviews of that. Please check out my Etsy store, my eBay store, and uh, make a purchase of uh, one of our items or homemade items. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.